Okay, if you just do watch us, this is the BBC Pigeon live broadcast from the Nigerian capital, Abuja. And we did the Nadia Zikwe International Airport where Nigerians, where they evacuate from the crisis from Ukraine, don't, they, don't land. The second batch of uh, Nigerians where they evacuate from the Ukrainian um, crisis, they don't land in Niger. Earlier today, about 451 of them, Nadem arrived on top max air this morning. So the second batch don't land the country this evening. They come uh, on top um, airpiece and uh, then be almost around, uh, then they around uh, 180 uh, of them and then land this evening. Many of them carry their children, many of them um, with any little thing where they feel run away from, from the conflict, now they the land Niger this evening. They arrived in the Nigerian capital around um, 6.30 thereabout. Um, they come on top airpiece and uh, many of them say, after all the Wahala where they go through on top borders to arrive the country, then they happy say they don't reach home at last. So as they come like this, then go, then go guys do their documentation. Um, as you they see, um, then they check their temperature, then they make sure say, um, then use their face marks, then check their temperature. Then after that, then go go area where they go document them. They make sure say, then do proper documentation to make sure. To, and after the documentation, before they will come carry them, they, they, before they will come release them to go to their families. If you, if you just watch us, this now the BBC Pigeon live broadcast from the Nigerian capital, Abuja, and we did precisely for the Mnandi Azikiwe International Airport, where Nigerians, where they evacuate from sake of the Ukrainian um, conflict, don't land, the second batch of Nigerians don't land Niger. They come on top airpiece, and then they're around 180 people and then land the country. As they come like this, um, Nigerian officials from NEMA, from um, other emergency agencies, then full ground to talk to them and also to receive them. Um, the Nigerian humanitarian minister have been going inside the plane to go talk to them and to make sure say then they can't wait so as you see and um, before they come inside then they can check their temperature make sure say everything they right So after they check their temperature and they don't land inside the country, they don't land inside the airport, then they go start to they do their documentation. And you see that many of them don't sit down to write their name to do proper documentation. And um, after the documentation, now they go start to they allow them to they go out. Nigeria, they expected to evacuate about 5,000 of its citizens where they run from the Ukrainian um, conflict. Um, 8,000 8, Nigerians, they live and work for Ukraine, according to the Minister of um, Foreign Affairs, um, Jeffrey Onyema. And 5,000 of this number now students. The government say in Don, the government don't set up, uh, don't give or approve 8.5 million dollars to ensure say they bring this ones who and they don't charter air peace and max air to ensure say they evacuate all nigerians them where they where they stranded or they suffer 
for the sake of the Ukrainian crisis. So many of them, they Hungary, many of them, they Poland, many of them, they um, Romania. Earlier today, earlier today, um, some of the some of the stranded um, Nigerians being come from Romania. About 451 of them be students, according to government officials. And they say um, situation for them. They say they they happy. Say they don't come back home. Many of them they reunited with their family. And they, they, it was a very nice emotional moment as they hug their families. Then happy say they don't come back at last. Some of the parents were talked to BBC Pigeon say then they happy where where say their children them come back alive and they don't see them. One of the no, women Felix, want to tell us, say, him be no, I see no hear from his children, as they was, I no hear from his children. He say, ah, him be no get peace of mind though, but now, him they happy say, last, last, he don't see him picking them. And this one say, despite they suffer ahead, when they face for the journey on top of the border, then they glass say, then don't arrive home at last. And we also um, like to inform when I say, the federal government also, they give some of them when they leave for the capital, $100 to help them reach their family them. Some of them, they live here, they will give them as transport to reach their family. So if you look at the way they happen, they arrange um, people here. They organized. Um, they, they carry the they, they carry the waka. They go um, gen to gen to no gragra for here. Um, some of the students carry their load, their bags, and then uh, so they carry waka come. Officials here they prepare. They they have they get everything ready to attend to them. Different ministries and then they ground here. Nema day here, uh, foreign affairs officials day here, and different other ministries where they help to coordinate and ensure say uh, these ones everything they, they, they everything they they work as they planned so that they make sure say despite the stress say they don't over stress them again and to make sure say everything where they need they ground food they ground water they ground bracket eh, where they will, where they will hand over to them this night. moment when we go outside we see some parents on the wait for their children already but those where their parents when no get house or get anybody for abuja then go transit to um they will carry them go get maybe another means of transport probably go the local airport to get make sure say then get um flights back to lagos or portacot or any other part of the country where where their parents they and so now waiting they happen at the coordination with that so now then they do documentation after documentation then go check everything and then she'll say and then she'll say everything go on well Okay, if you just the watch us, this now the BBC Pigeon Live broadcast from the Mnandi Azikiwe International Airport here from the Nigerian capital, a government official, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, also sit down here. They here also to talk to talk to the students and to uh, the Nigerians and plus the students them and to welcome them back to Nigeria to back to the country now um, the minister won't talk what they won't address the press more here waiting she get to talk
I thought. Okay, now where documentation don't finish, um, Nigerian Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, they try to um, see how you go talk to the student then. Okay, if you just the watch us this now the BBC Pigeon Live broadcast from the Nigerian capital and we did for um, Nandi Azikiwe International Airport where the second batch of Nigerians where they run away where they run from the from Ukrainian from the where they evacuate sake of the Ukrainian crisis don't land Niger. We tell on say now about 180 of them where well, arrived the country on top airpiece and um, at the day now then they do their documentation many of them don't want to speak to media they don't want to make their face show they don't want to talk to anybody but we hope say we will bring on one or two persons to give us waiting their experience and then now they don't come back waiting day next waiting day next for them to do Okay, now here we go. We go match break on top of this live broadcast. Give them chance. Please give them chance. 